Why, hello there. I suppose now is the time that you would like to hear the story about John Peter Zenger. John Peter Zenger was a German immigrant who was a printer for the New York Weekly Journal. This publication harshly pointed out the actions of the corrupt royal governor, accusing him of an assortment of crimes and basically calling him an idiot. These actions angered the governor, and despite the fact that Zenga did not have a hand in writing them, he was hauled into jail. The writers were anonymous, and Zenga would not reveal them. In 1733, Zenga was accused of libel. Zenga's first jury was loaded with individuals on Governor Cosby's payroll. His wife Anna kept the presses rolling. It was thanks to her efforts that Zenga was awarded a new jury. When the trial began and Zenga's attorney started his defense, it caused quite a stir. It was none other than Andrew Hamilton of Philadelphia, one of the most renowned lawyers of that time. Is it hot for anyone else in here or is it just me? In a striking appeal to the jury, Andrew Hamilton pleaded for his new client's release. It is not the cause of one poor printer, but rather the cause of liberty, he said. The judge ordered the jury to strike a verdict if they felt Zenga responsible for the writings. However, in less than 10 minutes, they returned with a verdict of not guilty. Chairs filled the courtroom and shortly after filled the countryside. Zenga and Hamilton were regarded as heroes and another building block of liberty was in place. Zenga went on to publish an account of his trials, and the rest is history. Although true freedom of the press would not be known until the passage of the First Amendment, newspaper publishers felt freer to finally print their honest views. On that note, I believe it is time for me to take a nap. It has been wonderful speaking with you all today, and I hope you've enjoyed the story of John Peter Zenga.